Hi, this is Marsha Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. And in this video, I'm going to show you about how easy it is to use interactive websites with your smart board. I know that a lot of you already use interactive websites with your students, maybe in a computer lab or just, you know, in your classroom. Well, the smart board just makes it super easy and it's a great way to get started using a smart board. Let me show you a couple um, interactive websites that I really enjoy. Here's one for uh, young kids called Starfall. It's for primary kids learning how to read. Now, there's a whole bunch of activities on here, but I'm going to take you to one that I'm very familiar with. And um, we'll go to the book, Zack the Rat. Now, if you're using this on your smart board, basically what you would do is anytime that you would click with your mouse, instead you just have the students come up to the board. So in just a second, we'll have that opportunity. So here we go. If we click on the, the, kids can be up at the board clicking instead of you oh, at the computer ah, doing the same thing. Rat, and we're going to go on. Okay, so you can see how easy it would be to have students interacting with the board and doing these activities with you. Of course, it's always nice to have um, some speakers so that the kids can hear what's going on on the website. Another one that I absolutely love is Illuminations. It has um, mathematics types, interactive manipulatives for all grade levels. And, you know, just some of the, the activities are so useful and really, really great to use on your smart board. It makes it a lot easier to teach concepts. For example, here is an activity called Cubes, and it's um, you're teaching volume. And, you know, it can be very difficult to teach volume, but this activity makes it super simple. You can change the width and depth and height of your cube, and then these sides, if you click on them, they can come up or they can come down as desired. And as you're teaching volume, you can have them click individual cubes and they can start counting the volume. So we have two, three, four, five, until they filled their entire cube and then they can figure out the uh, cubic inches or cubic units as they go through. There's also, you can remove the last or you can also fill with a whole row, so it's got the it's got um, a row of cubes that's worth five, and it also you can add a whole layer there, and you can pull the sides up, sides up, sides up. There you go. And if you want to change the size of your box, you simply go over here. Again, interactive website, very useful in the classroom, but just a lot more interactive and fun when you're using it up on the smart board. So the kids are up clicking. Okay, and then one more I'd like to show you. It is from a website called Frog Guts. Frog Guts, actually, you can subscribe to it, but they have three free activities, and this one happens to be about owl pellets. And it, this is an owl pellet here, and if you had a real owl pellet, you, of course, you would have to pay for them for your students, and you slowly kind of take apart the owl pellet. So what I'm doing is I'm just clicking and slowly getting rid of the extra pieces out of the owl pellet that you would normally just like throw away. And inside is um, uh, parts of bones of a little creature that this owl has eaten. And we're going to start dragging them out. Here's one. And you take it up to and you see if you can get it on to the skeleton. So you can continue to do that until you've got all of the little bones out and you can put them where they belong. And it, it, it's really a quite an interesting little experience and process. And oh, we've got quite a big bone there. I think that's the skull. We'll try to put that on. There you go. And then it, after you get it, it gives you a little bit of information as you go through. So these are just three of some neat websites that you might enjoy using on your smart board. But there's a lot more. Um, Tons and tons of them out there. One of the best sources for interactive websites, I believe, is the Smart Technologies um, educational website. Now, 
when you go there, you actually can get there just by going to this link here. But an easier way is if you are in Smart Notebook software, if you go over to the gallery and look through your gallery, there is a little link right up at the top that says Online Essentials for Educators. If you click on that, you can come down here and it has, okay, well, what do you want to look at? And I'm going to click on this section called Lesson Resources. So it'll take me to their website that has lesson resources. So they've got um, the lesson activity toolkit, the essentials, um, all sorts of different things here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the educator resources and I'm going to scroll down to online classroom resources broken down by either elementary or secondary or I have to have click on this link, it just takes me to all of them. Again, you can filter the list, elementary, secondary. I'll click on secondary. And once you've done that, you can also filter it down by subject. So I'll click on chemistry. And then here we go. Here's a whole bunch of different interactive websites that would be appropriate for chemistry. You can also do a search as well if you would like to. There's all, there's just, um, lots of different resources out there for interactive um, activities on the internet. If you just do a Google search for internet um, interactive websites, you'll find a whole bunch of lists of them out there available for you. So what a great way to get started on using your smart board and make it more interactive and engaging for your students. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you another day.